I know. I I know. We took a lot of damage in that fight. And we gotta get back to this station to repair. I know we're really cutting it close. What other choice do we have? Come on, girl. We'll get you there. Just, just hold together for me, alright? You'll be okay. Would you fixed up in the station? No, I know she can't hear me. I know she's not alive. But I don't know. It feels right. And, you know, honestly, she's been on this team a lot longer than you have. If we're going to criticize anyone's actions back there, how about the one who shot the exploding canister that was right next to the glass and nearly sucked us out in space. Well, of course it was an accident, but that's exactly my point. This girl, she and I have been together for a long time and she does not have accidents. Well, it's not that I don't trust you, it's just you are not experienced enough. Yeah, right, I make mistakes, too. Yeah. But, look, I'm the one piloting the ship. Yeah, I worked my ass off to buy this ship. To upgrade her. To improve her. I'm not letting her go. Mm-mm. I've done so much custom work on this girl. Uh, she's definitely not legal to trade in. You think all those hidden compartments are, like, on the level? Come on. Half of the equipment we use is outlawed in about 80% of known space. No, the Federation doesn't have jurisdiction everywhere, though. So our equipment's gotta be kept somewhere safe, out of sight, and... Look, I don't want to get into intergalactic politics with you right now. Shit's enough of a headache on one planet. Just trust me, I've been doing this line of work for a while. We're not trading her in. And we don't need to. No. No, I've got plenty of experience patching her up, and... I've got a couple of friends who can... You haven't met them before because you haven't been on the team for very long, and usually, I don't even take a hit. Well, that's why I said earlier, I do sometimes make mistakes. Should have barrel rolled. But, you know, that doesn't matter. The station's right here, we're gonna pull in, and get her fixed up, and then we can get back out after our quarry. Oh, don't worry about it. I put a tracking beacon on them, so... Yeah, computer, display tracking beacon, 0 Alpha 32 Epsilon Quebec. Yeah, I've been doing this a long time. Got a tracking beacon on them. So we're going to repair our ship here. And, and then we gotta get back out after them. They can't outrun us. All those special modifications I did on her. She's quick. She's very quick. All we gotta do is make sure she stays in one piece and... <laughs> no. Mm -mm. You are not flying her. You don't even have piloting experience, though. No. Look, I'm not going to discuss this. She's registered in my name. I have the pilot's license. You don't. And we got to go talk to the dock officials so they can point us in the right direction and make sure we're not doing anything illegal. I don't know. This time we're not. Now, this bounty's completely above board. Now, one second. Excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Hi. Yes, absolutely. Here's my here's my license. You can go ahead and scan the ship. 
We took a lot of damage out there, hit some asteroids, and... Yeah, I know, but like, I got this new guy and he is not a good pilot. I know, how pathetic is it he hit asteroids? Those things are so easy to dodge. Anyway, he did. And now I gotta repair my ship, so... If you can just point me in the right direction, we'll get her fixed up and I'll be on out of here. Perfect. Thank you. Alright, that's even easier. Yeah, I'll go wait on the ship. Thank you. As if you didn't hear. Come on. With all of the audio equipment and stuff we have on here. Why? Well, catching your bounty isn't always about flying in guns blazing. Yeah, it's... what's the term? Espionage equipment? Oh yeah, they're gonna call us on the intercom. And we can discuss everything with the harbor master and see what kind of repairs we need and what it's gonna cost us, so... Really? We just gotta kick back in here and relax until then. You could if you want to go wander around out there. But I wouldn't recommend it. We're not on the safest side of the galaxy. And there's a couple of rough looking guys out there. You might be fine. And I'm pretty well known in these parts. No one wants to mess with me, but... I mean, there's always a chance some upstart wants to go after you, and... Because you're part of my crew. You don't realize how valuable a position this is, do you? You know, I thought when you requested to be put on this bounty alongside me, you knew who you were signing up with. Was I wrong? Then what's with all the questions? Hmm. You know, you're an adult. You can make your own decisions, whether I agree with them or not. There's a good chance you'd be perfectly fine heading out. There's also a good chance you wouldn't be. And we have a bounty to chase, remember? The longer we wait here, the further away they're going to get. Yeah, but going that fast will get you noticed. And... I'm not the only member of this team who's well known out here. Of course they do. Look at... Look at these cameras. Look at all those people staring at the ship, pointing, talking about my ship. They know who's on board. Or at least they think they know. But you don't take down the criminals I have without earning a bit of a reputation. I'll go after any bounty. I mean, the guy we're chasing now, he's not a criminal. But there's a bounty out on him. And a very nice one at that. And I'm not letting that slip away. Why do you think I managed to afford all of this equipment and all of these upgrades? Exactly. And if you're on this team, you also want that bounty for something. Alright. Go ahead. You can go walk around out there. They have all kinds of shops. You can buy something to eat, maybe. Some new equipment if you're looking for something. It's not the best quality. But it'd be better than nothing. Just make sure you're back here within an hour. Alright? So really? I don't want to have to go looking for you. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on you with the cameras. If anything 
worrisome happens, I'll dart out the doors after you. Look, I might not trust your piloting skills, but you're still a member of the team. And I take care of my team. End of story. Yeah, go on. I'll keep an eye on things here. Get the repairs all situated. And you can just go wander around. You've never been here, have you? How about... I recommend you go over that way. See those windows over there? There's a great view of the planet below. Mm-hmm. It's honestly beautiful. It's one of my favorite planets. God, I hate working with newbies. Mm, this is cute, though. I'm gonna just keep an eye on him out there on the cameras, just in case. Hello, everyone. This is Star. And thank you for listening this far into the video. I wanted to do some kind of bounty hunter thing. Um, and I did do the draw one, but I don't know, like sci-fi bounty hunters always have a, a special place in my heart. And the people like uh, Boba Fett and Samus to draw from his inspiration. Um, I wasn't entirely sure I say this a lot, I'm realizing right now. I wasn't sure where to go with this story because I didn't want to blatantly rip off of Samus or Boba Fett or anything. But they're also great source material as inspiration, right? But ultimately my idea was you're working with an experienced bounty hunter you're not all that experienced yet. Um, I don't have a train of thought today. It's bizarre. Oh well. Thank you all so much for listening. And goodbye for now. Mwah.